Welcome back to the Art Lang Show. My first guest, uh, happy to have him here to talk some football. He's got to explain what happened yesterday. Uh, Dolphins linebacker, Jason Trusnick. Jason, what's up, buddy? Not much, man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate uh, it. Hey, listen, I we appreciate you coming in. So you're a Miami Dolphin. Has uh, Richie Incognito ever called you the N-word? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me think. Uh, uh, no. Okay. I mean, just because you might be buddies, like, hey, N-word, we're talking, you know, like, on uh, your answering machine? No, nah, not on my okay. answering machine, you know. He never threatened you with gay sex? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we've gone back and forth with some comments. Okay, well, do you know, those. Let's no, go that's Martin. That. Martin was threatening the gay sex. Well, no. you know, this is good. Before we get we to the Super Bowl. we got out now. Before we get to the Super Bowl, what, what can you give us thoughts on that? I mean, obviously, you probably want to keep quiet about it, but do, do you side with one of those guys? or you, do, do you like both of them and just it's an unfortunate thing? Or what do you think happened there? Uh, it's just an unfortunate thing that happened yeah. in the locker room. Uh, you know, I think maybe both sides took it too far either way. You know, yeah. leaving that way, I think it could have handled been handled a lot better. Uh, things could have been done differently. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate, but, you know, we'll see what happens in the future with these two guys. But it was, you know... Luckily enough, our team was able to move on from it. So. Oh, yeah. But it's, it's, yeah, you guys I mean, it was tough. Back. It was tough. You guys played. You had, you had a great year. I mean, you played way better than anybody. Yeah, had a chance to thought. go to the playoffs after all that. If you're Martin in that situation, though, do you do you not, do you you not go public with something like that? Or are you trying to contain it? Are you the type of guy who would try to contain it and, and, and solve it within the team? I mean, I think we've all been part of a group of men that, right. you know, have joked around, called each other different names sure. and things like that. And, uh, you know, so I've been a part of the top – the top side and the bottom side of that, I guess. And, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, so I just handle it in a different way. But, no, you know, that's me and, you know, that's him. So. Well, well not, nothing against Martin, but I'll give you a chance to say it. Nothing against oh. Martin, but I think a lot of men would say the same thing you just said, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, still, I guess there's lines that can be crossed. It's a different era we're, we're playing. Go ahead, go ahead, John. I'm sorry. What do you think about the concept that this was just Jonathan Martin, uh, the writing was on the wall, he was playing terrible, and he was basically going to lose his job. And it seemed for a moment like a way out to say that the workplace was uh, unacceptable for him. And that's where this all came from. I mean, is that feasible in your mind? Uh, you know, it could be. Because, uh, I mean, is, is Bomb or whoever is a labor lawyer. Right. So he's getting advice. Maybe. He comes from an insanely sophisticated family, you know, yeah. that, that handled stuff like this differently. But... Uh, that's that doesn't translate to the football field. I don't think you know. I, I, I don't think so. I, lawyers are. They, you start bringing lawyers into the football situation. I just. I just. Control. I feel like, and and I know that you, you know these are your teammates. You mm -hmm. can't really say anything, but there is no way in the world he could have anticipated any that it would go this far. Right. Because now we have Incognito's attorney putting these texts out there. I don't know if you've read any of these. Yeah, I have the ones. <laughs> Like, He's like, uh, yeah. First of all, Martin, it's talking, <laughs> Martin in, in several texts talks about smoking pot. Right. About how Mary Jane has him glued to the couch. Okay. So you can be sure he didn't want that getting out there. Sure it's not his girlfriend? Is a girlfriend Mary yeah, Jane? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> all right. uh, Could be a chick. He says, uh, he says things of the same caliber, of the same, like, nature that Incognito did. Like, he says, I don't know, who's McDonald? Is that a guy on your team? Yeah, he's another old lineman. Oh, okay. Yeah. He said, Martin said, uh, first of all, he said, I'm going to egg your house and light a bag of crap crap on fire, then ring your doorbell. Incognito said, I'm going to shoot you and claim self-defense. I'm white. You're black. I'll walk. Martin responded saying, I'm going to give McDonald bath salts. And lock them in your house with a tranquilizer gun and a box of sandpaper condoms. Boy, these are getting very creative. <laughs> Incognito. <laughs> yeah. <what? laughs> it's just like the one-upping. Like, you're just messing around. Incognito replied to Martin, ha, 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 ha. You know, this is just like friends. And then later, Martin, when everything went down, when right. he left the team and he went to a, a mental hospital, um, there were a lot of texts from Incognito saying, you know, how are you? You know, like, I miss you. 
Um, well, I, you know, I, I mean, I think what you say, I mean, and again, Jason, it's probably hard for you to comment. Yeah, no, First of all, have you talked to a, 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 a guy about this already? A, a league person has come in and talked to you guys or someone in the league appointed? Yeah, we did. We yeah. all, the, you know, the whole team, coaches, staff, everybody had to, you know, talk to some, talk to the lawyer, basically. And they had, right. you know, they have to try to figure out this situation, too. So, uh, you know, we did. We talked to everyone, gave our side of the story and whatnot. And it's, you know, it's just unfortunate the way it can, it worked its way out and the you know, yeah. things like you said, the texts that are coming out and things like that, because, like you said, we've all texted our buddies, and I have buddies that, you know, I'm friends with. We've all made different comments to them and this and that, but it's unfortunate this stuff's coming out now right. because of it. Yeah. You know, if this stuff stays in the bag and nothing happens, it's just another day in the book and another day with your friends. Exactly. It sounds so, like two buddies had a, a big falling out, know, and Martin just went public. Well, I don't even it. know if they had a falling out. Like, or, I, or, I get the well, impression... Well, the one, the one voicemail maybe you thought went... Too far, but again, times have changed. Like I said, right. my uh, well, that's what Martin uh, yeah. said that right. that went too far. Yeah, right. So that's uh, that he was. But hurt do you take that. that public? Do you go? I mean, do you I try, try to hand? You go up to incognito and handle like two men in the locker room or something. Yeah, right. that's what you're saying. You would have done. Right. right? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, like I said, this whole situation could be maybe handled a different way, and I think the ruling and stuff will probably come out eventually of the lawyers talking to the entire team and coaching staff and kind of see where it goes or, yeah. excuse me, which side they take. Sure. Um. So we'll kind of see where it goes from there, but you know, I don't. I don't it's tough. It was tough on our team. It was tough on the coaching staff. I could imagine. So the I know it. I know it's tough on both those guys. Right. Put some in a hard yeah. spot, you know. So I mean, well, listen, listen, I... listen to this one. What? After Martin <laughs> left the team, uh, there were other exchanges where Incognito repeatedly asked Martin to call him and asked if he was okay. Martin responded in November, saying, "What's up, man? The world's gone crazy. LOL. I'm good though. Congrats on the win." So he's saying, like, hey, good job. And then Incognito says, thanks, dude. It's unbelievable all, all the attention this is getting. All that's important is that you feel better and know we miss you, dude. Oh, okay. So they talked after the fact yeah. in a nice way. This is just I so mean, inconsistent to what, you know, with what Martin is accusing. Well, I've said this before. I'm 46 years old. My best friend in high school was a black kid, and I was his best man at his wedding. And my best man speech was basically that incognito yeah. voicemail. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I you mean, know, it, it's all it changed. Is. It's the relationship, relationship you have with <laughs> right. a certain person, like you said. Yeah, you know? it's, it's like your friends, exactly. your buddies, especially in the, the camaraderie you have on a football field. Yeah, absolutely. It's like the closest thing to going to war with somebody, yep. you know? So. Yep. What do you think about uh, these guys playing again? Do you think that Martin gets picked up anywhere? I mean, it sounds to me like... Uh, Everyone likes Richie Incognito as a player. Yeah. You know, yeah, maybe he's a little nasty or whatever, but that's what you want right. from an offensive lineman. It sounds to me most people feel like he will get picked up. But not Martin. Martin may be tougher. Do you feel like that may be the Yeah, it'll case? be uh, interesting to see this offseason when it starts up. Uh, you know, I could see, you know, Jonathan Martin, I don't know if he wants to be picked up. I don't know his situation. As far as I know, Richie that knows some guys or whatever, uh, he definitely wants to play. I think yeah. he's, uh, you know, he's a good ball player. He's been yeah. proven to be a good yeah, player. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's had his situations on the field and the way he played. But you know what? When he steps between the lines, that's just the way he is, and yeah. uh, that's what's got you him this far. That that's what's. Did you ever him. have a problem with either guy? No, no. Okay, I mean, I've they don't. They're not troublemakers. With no, I've joked right. around with both guys. Right. I've made comments to certain guys and things like that, and that's just having fun, like I said, in the locker room and mm -hmm. having a good time. All right, well, listen, we're gonna, we are gonna. appreciate you uh, talking about it. Uh, it's probably been talking about it ad nauseum, but it's a big story. No, it's right. We'll see what happens. And again, you guys played through it, uh, and uh, we're going to take a break. We come back, we're going to talk a little bit about the, the Super Bowl with you and what, uh, yeah. you know, you're a defensive guy and about that defense and, and what happened out there. Uh, and uh, we'll do that with uh, Jason Truslick of the uh, Miami Dolphins after this. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on audience, only on DirecTV.